Good morning and welcome to another Ignite Purpose weekly devotional. You may be getting a little tired of me constantly talking about leaning back, trusting God in a new way, not using your head, not being so religious, but actually igniting your heart for Jesus. I've been reading a book and it's a secular book called, Hey, Change Your Questions change your life and it's by a PhD named Mary Lee Adams and it's been so enlightening it's amazing how some of these secular writers don't know it but they're actually writing biblical truth in this book there is a exercise called the choice map where every decision every thought goes through a grid of choice and One choice that we make is to take the learner path, which is up, and the other choice we make is to take the judgment path, which is down to the judgment pit. Sadly, um, I have found by reading this book that I spend a lot of time in the judgment pit. How about you? What do you think? Do you think of learning when you have conflict or choices to make or do you think you have the answer and you immediately go to the judgment mode? I don't know about you, but I know for me, I've been challenged over and over and over again to not judge everybody. I have a quick, quick tendency to put people in a box because I'm frustrated and or I have a plan and I'm trying to plow ahead and therefore everybody that gets in my way is an idiot. I might not openly admit that, but that's what's going on in my head. In Matthew 7, 1 through 3, the Bible talks about judging others. Do not judge or you too will be judged. For the same way you judge others, you will be judged and with the measure you use, it will be measured to you. Why do you look at the speck of sawdust in your brother's eye and pay no attention to the plank in your own eye? The beauty of this choice map that's attached to this email is that there's a cut through. We all have a tendency to get on the judger's path, but you and I, we can make decisions minute by minute, hour by hour, to switch paths and get on the learner's path. Ultimately, it's not about judging, it's not about what you think, it's not about how much knowledge you have or any of that. It's really about what questions are you asking? How are you engaging people to understand their perspective? And as soon as you find yourself on that judger's path, you can make the cut through and switch lanes and start asking more questions. I've been saying this week after week after week, and I hope it's landing someplace, but the bottom line is if we continue to judge, the Bible tells us where we'll end up. We'll end up in the judger's pit, and we'll drag everybody we can down with us, when in fact, God wants us to engage people at a different level by asking more questions, understanding their perspective, and getting on a new path. So what do you do with this? What do you do with these two paths that you can choose? I hope that you recognize that you do take the judger's path sometime and you have to stop and decide to take the cut through, switch lanes and go to the learner's path. God wants us to have a better perspective of other people He wants us to be more open. He doesn't want us to judge. So I pray that this teaching, this challenge will take you to another level of relationship and that you can and will show the love of God to those people that you may have been judging. I hope it's an encouragement. Have a blessed week and I'll talk to you next week.